Hi there, this is Ranjit and uh, I have been using the Nexus 5 for almost about uh, one and a half months now and during that course I have installed a lot of apps that enhance the overall experience and the usage of Nexus 5 and actually you can use these apps for on any Android phone but it does make a lot of sense on the Nexus 5. So let me show you these apps that I use on the Nexus 5 to enhance its overall experience. So here I have the Nexus 5 and the first app that I have is for brightness and if you have been using the Nexus 5, you'll notice that the default auto brightness setting is not that great. And I feel that uh, Google has messed up the auto brightness on the Nexus 5 and it's actually overly bright when you keep it on auto brightness. And I did check this with uh, four other Nexus 5, it's the same. And to fix that, I am using an app called Lux. It's actually a pretty simple app. Let me invoke that app. It's called Lux Dash. We have a paid version and a free version. The free version should suit you fine. And default, you get a slider like this. What you need to do is you just need to slide it like this and leave it at a setting which you feel is comfortable. And just hit that. Now it has set and you can go and adjust the further settings. But uh, I'll show you that a bit later. You don't need to mess up with these advanced settings actually. And now what it will do is now it has set the auto brightness. And we also get this in this uh, notification tray here as you can see this is the first item is for lux and from here directly you can adjust the brightness you can lower the brightness if you want you can increase the brightness like this so it actually sets custom uh, what do you say auto brightness setting for your nexus 5 and i feel this is a pretty handy app again as i told you you have two versions the free version and the paid version obviously the paid version has a lot more settings uh, for example, uh, even uh, one setting that is there in the paid version that is not uh, applicable to the free version is that, for example, if you use the Nexus 5 in complete darkness, even at the zero brightness setting, it's pretty bright. In the paid setting, you can go into minus setting. Uh, so that's one option that is applicable in the paid version. And actually, this app has a lot of options. If you just go to the settings, actually, you do have a lot of settings to play around. You can adjust the uh, black light, etc. And you can play around with it. You also have the jitter control default it was at 8% so this uh, is actually how sensitive it is so you can control the sensitivity of the what do you say uh, light sensor etc so if you are annoyed with the default uh, brightness setting of the nexus 5 have a serious look at this uh, uh, lux app it's a, a pretty good app next app if you have noticed if i slide down i have this and this is the uh, battery widget reborn and uh, this is a battery widget and if i just go to my home screen you'll notice that I have this battery icon always and it shows me the battery percentage uh, that is uh, due to this and another good thing with this app is you have quick controls over here like uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, sync etc. You can customize this also. So again this is easy for quick toggles because if you are used to some other Android phones for example if you are coming from a Samsung phones all of them have that quick toggle but now by using this app you do get that kind of functionality and again it's a battery app so it gives you actually pretty good stats about your battery how it is performing how much time does it take to charge etc and actually it has a lot of settings uh, unfortunately this is a paid app and you can show the toggles that you want in that quick tray for example all here you also have one more thing that is a auto night mode for example in that mode when you set those timings it automatically uh, when that time goes it switch off the wi-fi etc that way it can save up a lot more battery so this is the battery widget reborn and the next app I, I have is actually pretty popular. It's called uh, Lightflow and using that you can customize the LED notification uh, light of for the Nexus 5. The Nexus 5 has RGB light so you can actually customize it in various colors. For example, you can customize the missed calls to come in what do you say red color uh, if you get SMS in different colors. So that is uh, Lightflow again. We have a paid version and a free version. I am actually uh, using a paid version. The only difference between the paid version and the free version is that paid version has a lot more options. For example, one more thing that I liked about uh, this uh, is you do get a lot of uh, customization. For example, when my Nexus 5 battery is charged, I ask it to glow in green color and I like this. You can even set it at what percentage threshold it should. For example, I have set it to 97%. Uh, I actually use an induction wireless charger. So I just keep it like this and uh, right now it's not at 90 percent so whenever it comes to about 97 percent this led notification light will glow in green color so that is light flow you can customize it and it works for a lot of apps 
Uh, next app is called delayed lock and this will be applicable for people for example uh, I have a lot of sensitive information on my phone and I use a lock keypad lock uh, but the problem is that uh, it gets annoying for example default if you just lock it like this the moment you unlock it again you have to enter the lock and for a person like me I used to do unlock the phone about 30 or 40 times in an hour so it used to get uh, tiresome now I have an app called delayed lock what it does is actually let me show you that app again this is a paid app and using this app you can delay the unlocking for example I have set it to two minutes another good uh, thing about this app is the amount of functionality it offers it offers plugins for example uh, what I have done is using this Wi-Fi plugin whenever I am in my home network right now it's in my home network and as you can see if I scroll down it says uh, disabled by Wi-Fi plugin so whenever it detects that I am in my home network it will not activate the lock and the moment I leave this Wi-Fi zone it will automatically detect that and uh, shut off my Wi-Fi and lock my phone so again uh, this is a delayed lock and I actually love this application and the last application uh, what I have is actually called clipper and uh, this might not be uh, great for everybody but this is kind of what do you say multiple level clipboard you can store clipboards over here and uh, actually uh, paste it in any app for example you can save your signatures etc let's uh, this clipper and uh, let's use that let's go to twitter and this is one more app that i use that is swift keys this is the custom keyboard swift keys it's pretty popular and paste comes and as you can see uh, this was picked up uh, from the clipper app so it's kind of multi-level uh, clipper Another app that I use is uh, Adroid, which is a pretty popular app. I've already made a video regarding Adroid. So these are some of the apps that I use to enhance my experience on the Nexus 5. Do let me know if you are using some other apps to enhance your Android experience uh, in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.